In this video I want to show an oscillator with a very bad waveform but perhaps it's usable somewhere in one or other application and then I think especially in an application of a uh, ultrasonic bass, ultrasound bass. Uh, TS1, this transistor, now in the middle of the screen, is a BC557 PMP transistor. TS2 is the BD140 PMP medium power transistor. Both transistors drive this coil. And here you see how the circuit was made in real. And it has a very, very bad waveform with a lot of peaks. The coil is kicked into oscillation on a certain frequency with a lot of sub resonances on higher frequencies, etc. etc. I want to demonstrate that now. Put up the uh, voltage to the oscillator. Here you see the waveform 3 volts. 5 volts, 6 volts, 11 volts, uh, 15 volts. You see it gets, it gets a very complex and <coughs> chaotic waveform. And you see the current that's taken out of the, in, uh, that goes into the circuit, 1.5 ampere at 15 volts. And the idea is that perhaps this can be used in a circuit for an ultrasonic uh, bass. This is a metal uh, can, this is the water. Um, <coughs> the coil is connected to the bottom of the bass, mechanically connected. This is the oscillator coil and the whole circuit. Um, sends its oscillations into the water. Oscillations between 5, 3, 5 uh, kilohertz and <coughs> on a lower voltage uh, 4 volts or so uh, 4, 8 4 kilohertz. So it's quite high, but that depends completely on the coil, coil that you use. This coil has not so much um, <coughs> uh, windings, but when you make a coil on the lower frequency, let's say 21 kilohertz or so, or 25 kilohertz, so more turns, I'm sure that this oscillator keeps working. And you can use this for instance for a, a sort of ultrasonic bass. This is the circuit again, hope it's visible. Bad waveform again, but perhaps usable for some electronic application. This is one Darling Darlington, <coughs> this is the other one. The collector from one Darlington is connected to the base. 